Good afternoon folks, Jordan here with the Nutty Gnome Homestead. Today is February 20th, 2023, and we are out here checking on some bees. So, uh, we went into winter with five healthy hives. I believe I have four that actually made it through the winter, which is good. But we've got these crazy temperatures here in southern Illinois right now that are going anywhere from 20 degrees at night to almost 70 degrees during the day. We're going to get out here, we're going to check in on the bees, we're going to see if they got any food remaining, uh, we're going to feed them if we need to. I'm not going to feed them sugar syrup right now, I'm going to feed them dry sugar if I can. I don't want to add extra moisture to the hive at this time of year. The bees can handle the cold, they cannot handle cold and wet. So if they try to bring in the sugar syrup, uh, fill up a, a box full of that, it's going to create a lot of moisture in the hive. <laughs> I don't want to uh, potentially lose my bees right here at the at the end of winter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up these hives, take a real quick look at them. Uh, they've been active the last day or two. Today's supposed to be the warmest day of the week. Uh, we do have some more uh, cold weather and below freezing temperatures coming. So I figure I get out and take a look now. I'm not going to be looking for a queen. I'm not going to be looking for an egg. I'm just going to be looking to see if they've got any food left, which I'm pretty sure these guys don't. Uh, they didn't whenever I got into them back in December and I'm gonna give them just a little more sugar to hopefully get them through the the rest of winter this week I have fed almost a pound of pollen substitute I just put it out here in the open away from the hives the, the bees come to it they collect it and take it back to the hive uh, so they are starting to get a little more active uh, these warmer days are getting up and moving around which is a good thing that's how we can check and see our hives are actually made it through through winter without actually having to get into them. I don't want to break the propolis on any of these boxes to get in and actually check around and see if they're laying eggs or if they're building comb or, or whatnot. I'm just going to do a quick peek today to see what's going on in those hives. So let me turn you around here and I'll show you what we're dealing with. Okay folks, so I'm on the back side of one of my hives. This is the first hive that I'm pretty sure made it through through winter. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to check the bottom board. Uh, I know there's going to be some sugar on it from whenever I poured it on there earlier. But I'm looking for uh, hive beetles, wax moth larvae, uh, just anything that could let me know that there might be something else going on in the, in the hive. That's the first thing I'm going to look at. So bear with me folks. We'll bring this up here so y'all can see try to anyway okay so we got a lot of wax cappings in here we got a couple of high beetles some sugar that fell through but I don't see any couple of ladybugs there I don't see any mites which is a good thing I don't see any uh, wax moth larva or any evidence that there's wax moths in there so this is a pretty good indication on the bottom board that uh, these girls made it through through the winter so I'm going to put this bottom board back and I'm going to open up the top and we're going to take a look inside got my little helper over there say hi alright Oh, there might be some in here. So, I've got a couple of dead bees on top, which is not uncommon for this time of year. Go ahead and clean that off. I've got plenty of sugar on top of this. I'm going to close that back up, and I'm going to call this hive good. they got plenty of sugar to make it through the next couple of weeks of winter. I do like to use the dry sugar because... It has a tendency of drawing moisture out of the hive. I guess I could have showed you. All right. Okay. So I put 
30 pounds of dry sugar on this hive already this year. All these hives have got at least 30 pounds of sugar on them this year. This here is a shim. It's just a cut down box of an old hive box. I think it's like two inches or two and a half inches just to give me enough room to put some uh, extra sugar in here. I put down a piece of paper, dump the, the dry sugar on top, and then the bees will eat through the paper and they'll eat the sugar and the, the sugar will actually draw the moisture out of the hive. So that's how we do this. Let me get this one closed up and we'll go back to the next one. No, I haven't found any honey yet, kiddo. This next one. Like I said, I'm going to come over here and take a look at the, the bottom board first. Watch, sugar fell through on this one. Capping. there and I will try to bring you in close and take a look and see what we got going on inside lots of activity on top that's a good thing you'll notice I've got a couple beetle traps around we do try to actively reduce our our beetles because you just never know now one thing i did notice on here right away is there's a lot of moisture in this hive that is not good you can see they got sugar they've got quite a few bees up here eating on top of it I think I'm going to give him just a little bit more sugar though. If you can see these bees, let me see if you guys are in the frame, yeah. Okay. You see these bees bridging down, they're holding together. They're doing, they're doing what bees do. I'm just going to gently break them off. Now, this is an experiment for me, folks. Last year I did it with good success. I tried it again this year. I took one of those shims, made it about four inches wide, and I filled both sides with pine shavings. These pine shavings are absolutely saturated with water. That drew moisture out of this hive away from those bees. I think this is probably my strongest hive that I have this winter, which is phenomenal. So... I'm going to give these girls just a little bit more sugar. Just to make sure they got enough to last the next couple of weeks. Now what I have here folks is just a piece of tissue paper. I've used uh, newspaper in the past. I'm just going to lay this on top because I don't want it to fall all the way through to the bottom. The bees are going to do a good enough job at knocking that down. Anyway, so I'm just going to lay this in there. The bees are going to get up on top of it. It's not going to be a problem. Now I'm going to put some sugar right on top of that. four pounds of sugar I dumped in there three four pounds they've already got about four pounds in there this is a pretty healthy hive I believe this is probably gonna be enough to get them through I brought out about 30 pounds of, of sugar today just in case so these beetle traps they'll push those beetles in there and then they will uh, put propolis over the ends and in, entomb those beetles run them out of there it works pretty good so
I'm just gonna keep on working on down the line. I got three more hives to go through. I believe that one down there on the end is the one that didn't make it. Although there has been some activity in front of it, they probably not enough to uh, build up well this spring. So I may just combine them with the weakest hive that I have and go into spring with four good healthy hives. So anyway, folks, that's all there is to this. Uh, we make sure we'll be treating for uh, varroa mites here in just a couple of weeks. I'll have my swarm traps put out here in just a couple of weeks as well. I like to have my swarm traps out by the 1st of March. You never know whenever these guys are going to have a, a wild hair and decide to move out on their own. So if I don't catch it, I want to make sure I got a swarm trap up to at least catch uh, catch my own bees. So if, if I can see that they're building up early and they're running out of room, I'll go ahead and make a split. And we'll probably be doing some videos on this later, later in the season. But I'm going to go ahead and get to work, check the rest of these bees. I'll probably put out some more pollen for them today. I know that uh, they have been bringing in pollen from somewhere else. I don't know what kind it is. It's kind of a greenish yellow tint. But I've seen several bees here the last week or so uh, with full pollen sacks. So I'm going to keep feeding them, try to make them through till, uh, till spring flow. Until next time, Jordan here with the Nutty Gnome Homestead. If you guys like this kind of content, like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment if you got any questions. Until next time, we'll see y'all.